Hello and welcome to another Better World here on my channel. Today we're going to look at Mr. Holmes vs. Sherlock Holmes 2009. Yes, indeed. Two Sherlock Holmes movies. So let's start it. Topic number one is going to be genre. Yes, indeed. Not storyline, but for once, I believe. Both movies have different genres. The Mr. Holmes one are more of a drama. Detective kind of style. It isn't. It isn't that action oriented. It is more about the late life of Sherlock Holmes and his some of his final. What can you call it? Cases. You will see that more. The drama is about him forgetting his. He started to lose his, his memories, and because of that, he's trying to start remembering it again. In Sherlock Holmes 2009, it's more of an action oriented crime thriller kind of style that essentially is a murder mystery that you usually uh, depict Sherlock Holmes being about him, him solving murders or cases. <coughs> Uh, the action works really well in that one, and it when it comes to the thriller and crime kind of style, it is fun and interesting to watch. Of course, these two genres are somewhat different because Mr. Holmes is more of a calmer movie because of it being a drama a lot more and being a lot a lot about the later life of Sherlock Holmes character. Then so, Sherlock Holmes for 2009 that is more of an action oriented. Uh, a crime thriller that tries to show off the cool side of Sherlock Holmes, him solving cases in a cool action hero kind of style. But which one has the better genre when it comes to this character? The winner of this topic is going to be... It's a tie. <laughs> the reason for that is that there are two completely different styles when it comes to movie making. Mirza Holmes does it very well when it comes to telling a storyline because it is more dramatic. It isn't all about the action oriented stuff that, well, that I, uh, I think about when I, when I think about Sherlock Holmes. Maybe because I have been scarred by the 2009 movie. But when the 2009 movie also works really well because of the action oriented that they have went with that character. So, both movies, in my opinion, gets a point and. I can't really decide because of the genre. Yeah. Topic number two are going to be effects and environments. There isn't that many different environments when it comes to Mr. Holmes. Of course, you are sometimes in Japan, you are sometimes in different locations, but for the most part, you are in uh, his house or what is called barn, not barn, it is house in the country, in the countryside essentially where he lives with uh, his maid and he, he hers uh, son essentially uh, so the environment isn't that many but they are beautiful to watch at, look at and are interesting to see uh, at least when it comes to fates it isn't that many, it is, you can see it is uh, more they are focusing on bringing back the the old style uh, periods drama, the history, the history when it comes to 1950s I think or similar uh, areas like that in time. Uh, Sherlock Holmes for the night have amazing environments uh, I think because they show off a little bit more than Miss Holmes does. They show off London a lot. They show off. A lot of places, a lot of interesting scenery, and it is interesting and good looking, in my opinion. When it comes to the effects, of course, because it is action oriented, it wants to have big explosions and more stuff that happens in the movie, and because of that, it stands out a little bit more for Mr. Holmes. So, the winner of this topic are going to be Sherlock Holmes 2009. Topic number three are going to be side characters. In Mr. Holmes, it is the maiden, her son, and 
you will see a little bit about a uh, man that you hear, Mr. Shiroko uh, Mutashi meets in Japan. But anyway, they, in Mr. Rose, they are really good. They, the child actors are amazing, in my opinion. The, she that plays the maid in his house are amazing as well because they give a very trust, uh, very good performance. Both of them, so nothing to take away from that. In Sherlock Holmes 29, it is more the psychiatrist is a little bit more or less people that he has said that is around him. Sometimes Watson as well. Well, Watson is in my world of the movie, but anyway, they are really interesting as well. But many comes to psychiatrists that I really care about more, it is Mr. Holmes. Is with that is mainly because in Sherlock Holmes 2009 they they doesn't give that much time. I wanted more time with the different characters and give them more time to shine. In Mr. Holmes they get a lot of time to shine and they tell a great story for the characters in my opinion. And of course topic number four are going to be main character or best Mr. Holmes. Uh, let's see. In Mr. Holmes, uh, Sherlock Holmes is played by Ian McKellen, and in Sherlock Holmes from 2009, it is, he is played by Robert Downey Jr. Both amazing actors. They have great performances, great acting in both of them. So it is really hard to decide which one of them that does a better job. So because of that, it is going to be a tie. And when it comes to Ultimate Winner, it's a kind of hard one because both movies all have different styles, they have different things that stand out more when it comes to actually telling a storyline. In Mr. Holmes, it's more, they have, the psychology stands out a little bit more and gives a get in more time to shine. In Sherlock Holmes 29, it is more action related, the environment stands out more and the effects are amazing, so it's hard to decide and because of that, the Ultimate Winner. It's going to be just a tie. As I said, both movies stand out for their own merits, and I can't really decide which one stands out the most. Because they are so different when it comes to genres, they, stand, they uh, perform very well on their own, and it's kind of hard to say if they are really that uh, alike, if you can, if you will say it like that. Uh, I picked them mainly because I think about Sherlock Holmes I just had these two movies so yeah. And that was all for today folks, hope to see you next time.